It's your boys, Isaac and Daddy, the rey de los dos mundo, papi. Fuck shell. <laughs> Yo, we got a packed room here tonight. The home team doing it real big. We got everybody in here, man. Damn DJs is going down in a major way. Yes, sir. Yeah. What we wanted to do is a quick interview with y'all. You know, let everybody know what's up with Isaac and Daddy. So. Uh, we want everybody to know who is Isaki Dani, where y'all from, what y'all do, how how y'all start doing music, man. Uh, we're from Elgin, Illinois. We represent everything in between from here to Chicago. Uh, we do reggaeton, hip hop. You know, check out the MySpace, myspace.com slash Isaki Dani. Isaki Don't forget that one. Chill. Okay. And uh, basically, man. It started in middle school. We knew each other. Well, we actually didn't even like each other wow. in middle school. Like, real uh -oh. talk. We actually were about to get into yeah. a little scuffle. Talk, man. I almost had to flex him right there. <laughs> <laughs> Great but, school uh, beef. Uh -oh. From there, I mean, uh, we actually My caught a Don Omar concert in uh, Chicago together. He, I found out he sang. Uh, I did my thing, put it down real quick, and it's been history ever since, man. I mean, we've That's been doing up. things, you know, so. That's what's up. Sure. Give us a list of your songs that people should know by now, and if they don't, they should be looking out for it. Definitely, for sure. What set us off was uh, the Sensacion. We got Superstar. That's our biggest one right now. And yeah. then um, coming out, we actually have a video coming out for El Ultimo Nivel. Which is gonna be super crazy. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, you gotta check it out because that's something else, man. That's like a full length movie right there. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, man, I saw that. You guys are, you know, walking with your little coffee cups and <laughs> It's was... gonna be a different, you know, a different approach. Superstar was uh, <laughs> one side of us that's the, the party, the crazy side. Right, right. But I mean, there's a deeper side of Usaki Dani, and uh, you're gonna see that in that in the new video. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's and up. that's by the same producer that the Superstar, right? Yes, sir, Luis Feliciano. Now, uh, speaking... Big shout out to Impression Studios on that one. Definitely. Now, speaking of Superstar, how many plays did that get? I mean, that's all over the place. Dude, uh, Blastro... actually, we took it off. For a little oh, bit, you? so I mean, the <laughs> plays that are on there right now is a whole different set of plays. Mm -hmm. uh, Blastro.com, you can check out the video. That's got about 70,000 views on the video. The oh, charts, actually, got, yeah. The charts, man, we were ranked up in the charts with like, We See On Dead. For about a week, we had uh, the hottest video above uh, Daddy Yankee, We See On Dead, Prima J. So I mean, we were doing it for like a real good week, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Daddy Yankee down, came back with a new down. video. Yeah. But, um, we got that, the YouTube got about 10, 10 grand, uh, the song alone, the second time playing got about 30 views, so I mean, uh, it is what it is, I mean, we're superstars, have any babe. upcoming shows or performances that you might want to let everybody else know about? June 25th, I want to say. June 25th, we'll be at uh, Six Flags. No, sorry, July 25th. My bad. July 25th. <laughs> I don't even know my dates. We'll be up at uh, Six Flags. That's going to be a crazy show. I mean, if you catch the last one, you see it was crazy, but it's going to be ten times bigger. They see what we can do, so uh, we're going to try to, you know, pack, pack it up a little bit, you know. Show uh, show Chicago what we're working with, you dig? That's what's up. Definitely. Now, I remember you guys, like, performing in these little spots, like little taco spots here and there, like, years ago. Now, how does yeah, it feel yeah. like it was last year opening up for... I mean, Joel and Randy, how was that? Dude, it's it's a crazy experience, you know. Um, a lot of people ask us if we get stage fright and stuff like that, but it's really it's evolved from something else. Um, we can't <laughs> we came up from doing little shows at local spots here and there in Elgin, and to be doing something like Congress Theater opening up for Joel Randy, Tony Dice, big names like that, it's it's an amazing feeling. I I wish everyone could experience it, but it's crazy. Oh, Lee, me and Isaac, you know know how it feels and it's crazy man definitely. i mean the back i was backstage with you guys and that was just a ridiculous feeling just yeah, seeing you guys there definitely now is something like that coming up for you guys something that big Do you guys um, have something in the right now just that big is just the uh, six flag right now you know we're really focused on our video we're trying to get all the shots that we need to make this a perfect video so right now we're really focus focusing on that and not worrying too much about performances and stuff but definitely expect big things from Isaki Dani because we're doing it big. Now, what a lot of people always ask us, especially the DJs, um, what's up with an album? An album? Ooh. <laughs> everyone keeps asking. Yeah. Yeah. We got a mixtape coming out. <laughs> everyone, everyone's been asking that too. We got a mixtape. It's going to be a, this is the remix uh, mixtape. It's going to be a, some of the stuff that you already heard on MySpace. We got a couple exclusives. The main thing right now is uh, we've been approached by a couple record labels. Now, uh, we want to be real comfortable with what we're doing, mm -hmm. so we're holding back a lot of the original material. So when that a right approach does come by, and it's like, oh, this is the contract for us that we signed, we want to have material ready for them. You know, so if they're saying, you know, are you guys ready to drop an album right now when we sign you, we'll have 10, 15 tracks ready for the album. So you're, you, know, you might not hear too much regular, um, or excuse me, original music right now, mm -hmm. but best believe we're working hard. This is what we do. We're in the studio all the time, man. 
uh, we're grinding, you know, we really are grinding, so uh, if you think we're sleeping, I mean, I'm a zombie, man, you know, I don't sleep, I really don't, yeah, no. so that's what we do, we're, we're hard workers, and um, I mean, we're young, we're very young, you know what I mean, we're both under 21, and I mean, uh, we've been grinding, like I said, for about six, seven years, so it's, it's real cool, especially to bring, you know, my best friend, you know, you know, to do this, I mean, it's real cool, shout out to the damn DJs, real talk, man, they've been helping us, I mean, that, that was one of the main things was, um, Neurotic. Neurotic helped us out with our first club show and it's been crazy because I mean now we're doing you know like you said Congress theater and stuff like that so shout out to him DJ Boy Genius, Slick, MIC everybody's throwing us on um, CDs right now that's a big help I magic mean magic Everybody, the whole dance squad, like, he's all crying over here. Everybody who's throwing us on mixtapes right now, that's just helping the Chicago movement and showing that we really can connect with these DJs. I mean, you got to have hot records, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, so if you got whack music, don't expect these DJs to support you. I mean, that's just, just what it is. But if you get in the booth and you're really working hard, these DJs are going to support you. And that's why, I, like, I really give a shout-out to uh, Henchman and Dan, for real. What else, what's your guys' future plans? I mean, obviously you guys want to get signed. Where do you want to go from there, though? Man, dude, I mean, if you're going to like really ask me that, I got so much stuff that I personally want to do. I know Danny wants to do his own things, too. I would really like to focus on uh, doing some acting later on. Like, real talk, I think it'd be cool to start some underground Chicago films and work We're my way a, up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We might have a little drama on USA or something. You know? No, not USA, it's Spanish. Tell them uh, yeah. Now, speaking of clothes, you guys got sponsors, too, right? Yes, yes. we do. Uh, shout out to Sugar Shot Clothing and Cannibal Cult. Shout out also to... Uh, Dream City Tattoos, we got a tattoo sponsor. So anytime we need a tattoo, uh, we holla at Gonzo. Chip! But we don't get cold sponsors, though. Because we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grind, man. I mean, it's I've been wanting a, you know, a clothing sponsor for years and years and years, and we just got you know, we just got two of them, so it's not easy, you know what I mean? Quick question, do you guys have an official barber? Because Magic over here, yes, he really do. needs a yes. haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah, we got, uh, we got John. Go on. Yeah, Gonzo. It's in its image barbershop. It's based in Elgin, where we're from. But I'm telling you, this guy has the sickest haircut. You gotta go all the way side. Give me a quick.